channel. Today in this video we will be discussing 5 minute wholesome breakfast recipes to go for when you are getting very late for work or office. If you are one of those people who absolutely love their sleep then just let me tell you one thing guys I feel you. I feel you completely because I have a lot of sleep in my morning and I can absolutely uh, not uh, indulge in that so I always get late for the office like 4 out of the 5 days I am late for office so obviously for people like me and for people like you who are like me so obviously for people like me and for people like you who are like me we need some breakfast recipes that we can go for early in the morning uh, because breakfast is A very important and B to maintain a healthy lifestyle you should always have a good wholesome breakfast and on top of everything else I have to do everything on my own I don't have uh, my mother with me so a little emotional there because um, mummies always are like that they always give you a breakfast on the table but obviously this uh, this is not the case right now with me so yes without any further ado let's just begin so number one is the healthy bowl and it is number one because it is my favorite and I absolutely love to have it. So in a bowl take some granola. I've taken some granola here. You can also take muesli or cornflakes if you'd like and add a few healthy things to it. I have soaked almonds here, soaked walnuts from overnight and um, once you add that add some natural sweetness i am not very fond of sugar because it's not good for health so i'm adding some raisins here if you like uh, more sweet you can add dates as well once your bowl is ready with all these ingredients just pour in uh, some milk and also you can add up some fruits that you'd like uh, like banana is very good for health in the morning so just cut out pieces of banana and pour it in the bowl and uh, I had some blueberries uh, left over with me so I am just adding some blueberries here you can add any fruits that you'd like and your healthy bowl is all ready to rejoice and relish I absolutely love it because it takes hardly two minutes to prepare and it's perfect for all those days when you are running very very late for office. Number two is the besan chila. For this you will need some besan which is also called chickpea flour. Now keep adding water in little amounts so that no lumps are formed and you get a fine paste. While you are making the paste, I will recommend just put a, a pan onto the gas so that it gets heated by the time your mixture is done. Now uh, you also need grated carrots for this. You can uh, keep it uh, in the night, like do it in the night and keep it or you can do it in the mornings as well. Add some more veggies if you'd like. I'm adding tom tomatoes and onions as well. Add some salt and some red chili powder if you're not already adding green chilies to it. You can also top it up with uh, green coriander leaves so that the color is good. However, I did not have so much time to put coriander leaves so I have just skipped that step. Now mix all the ingredients to a good paste. Once the mix is ready and is of a good consistency, just uh, put some oil, spread some oil on your pan and then put the mixture with the help of the spoon and try to spread it in the form of a circle. Once you feel that it is golden brown on one side, just flip it over and let the other side also become a little goldenish brown. My first chilas are always like that, not very good in shape. So once that is done, just flip it over on your plate and uh, yes, I am going to show you uh, one more step because I want to show that I can make good circle chilas as well. So here's one more chila. And finally, my chilas are all ready to rejoice. You can have it with your coriander chutney or you can have it with sauce and even curd because curd is also very good for health. And yes, happy times. Number three is roti lefafa, which is all from the leftovers that you had the previous night. So yes, again, a two minute recipe just to your rescue. For this, you will need a roti and paratha. Just put the leftover sabji in the mid portion of the paratha and while you are doing this, put your pan on the gas so that it gets heated. Now just put some ghee or butter and splash in your roti in there. 
If you don't have any sabji lying around, you can also use vegetables. Just put some sauce on the paratha and top it up with cut onions, tomatoes and capsicum. This is also a very healthy breakfast again. Try to give it a shape of a wrap or a roll and in no time your roti lifafa is all ready. Relish it with tomato sauce or curd as you'd like. Number 4 is banana and blueberry pancakes, one of my favorite English breakfast recipes of all times. So this is one of my own recipes and very close to my heart and for this you will need one and a half bananas just mash it with the help of fork and get a good consistency if you don't have a lot of time just splash in all the ingredients in a mixer and you will get the pancake mix in absolutely no time Once your banana mix is ready add 2 eggs and give it a whisk again and uh, also you can add in sugar here if you like sugar but I don't prefer sugar as you already know by now so I have uh, just added banana as my natural sweetener add 2 tablespoons of milk now I will add in some whole wheat flour as well to get a thicker consistency of the mix you can completely uh, skip this step it is perfectly optional and also in the meantime that you are preparing the mix put the pan on the gas and uh, let it get heated now put some butter and roll out your mix there Now I am putting some blueberries on the top just to give it a good flavor. Uh, this step is also completely optional. If you don't have blueberries, uh, you can just put in cut strawberries as well. Whatever you'd like or just keep it plain as simple pancakes. And once one side is golden brown, just flip it over till the other side gets golden brown and uh, yes, you are all good to go with your pancakes. They smell amazing, they taste amazing. Just dash in some honey if you'd like or just eat it as it is. I am completely in love with this recipe. I'm sure you will be too. Number 5 is our very traditional Indian breakfast upma. To make upma, you will need some cut onions, grated carrots, cut tomatoes and some curry leaves. Now take some ghee in a pan and let it heat. Once it is heated put mustard seeds and curry leaves into it. Now I will also add some peanuts because it gives a very good flavor to the upma and I really love it and give it a stir. Now put in the onions in the pan and let it become translucent. Once they are translucent add the grated carrots into it as well. Now I will add some salt to the mix and just give it a stir for about 2 minutes. Now here I have taken half a cup of roasted semolina. Make sure that your semolina is already roasted so that it avoids unnecessary time in roasting it again and just uh, put it in your mixture. Give it a mix and add in your water. So the water should be about 4 to 5 times the amount of semolina that you are taking. So once you have added the water this is the right time to add cut tomatoes as well so that it gives a nice flavor to your upma and let it boil for some time let it cook for about 2 to 3 minutes and your upma is all ready I like adding a little lemon and sugar to the mix as well it enhances the taste of the upma It is a very healthy and light on stomach breakfast just pack it in your tiffin box if you are getting very late for office and enjoy it on the go Thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon just beside the subscribe button so that you get notified of whenever i am on youtube please do check out my other videos as well i will link them somewhere on the screen i am into fashion lifestyle diys makeup and what not the list is never ending but do check it out and give it a big fat thumbs up if you like it so yes i will see you soon with yet another video till then stay happy bye bye